Hi, Lori here from the Kids Library. Summer is finally here, and it's time for some fun outdoor creativity. Today, we're going to be doing pendulum painting. We're going to be creating some cool art on the sidewalk or your driveway using a pendulum that we'll be making and some washable paint. Oh, and this is messy. Do you like making a mess? So do I, but I don't want it in my house. That's why, before we get started, make sure you ask your adult where a good place would be to set up for our, your pendulum painting. It's real quick and easy to hose it all away, but you don't want to bring the hose in your house. Are you ready? This is lots of fun. Let's get started. Here are the supplies you will need for your pendulum painting. A foam or paper cup. We used a 12 ounce foam cup. String. Any kind of string will work. We used twine, scissors, tape, two chairs, a broom handle or a pole, a bowl and spoon for mixing, and your DIY washable paint mixture, which is a third cup of cornstarch, a third cup of water, and a tablespoon of washable paint. Make sure your paint is washable, not acrylic or tempera paint. You may want to try a test spot on your surface to make sure it all washes away when you are done. First, let's prepare our pendulum. But wait a minute, what is a pendulum? A pendulum is a body suspended from a fixed point so that it can swing back and forth under the influence of gravity. It swings freely until it comes to a stop. Our cup, suspended from our twine, will be our pendulum. Using a pencil, gently poke a hole in the bottom of the cup and one hole on each side of the cup underneath the rim. Next, pull the twine or string out to about arm's length and cut it. It's okay to ask an, an adult to help you cut the string. We put tape on the ends of our twine so that it would not unravel as we poked it through the holes in the side of the cup. Poke the twine through the holes and tie them in a knot. This creates a handle for your cup. It's okay to ask an adult for help with tying the knots too. Next, mix the paint ingredients together in a bowl. Start with the cornstarch. Carefully measure a third cup of cornstarch and place it into the bowl. Next, pour one third cup of water into the cornstarch. Be careful to get the measurements as close to exact as possible. Too much water or too much cornstarch may make your mixture too thick or too thin. It can be a little hard to stir the cornstarch and water together, but be gentle and patient. It will soon mix together. Add the tablespoon of washable paint and mix it in thoroughly. Use a piece of tape to cover the hole in the bottom of the cup, extending the tape past the rim. Place 
place the broom across the two chairs and slide the cup to the middle of the broom. Fill the cup with your washable paint mixture. Remove the tape and swing the cup. Observe what patterns the pendulum creates and what beautiful patterns it makes on the ground. Experiment with swinging the pendulum gently or more forcefully to see what kinds of patterns it makes. You can also experiment with using different heights of chairs to see how it changes the swinging of the pendulum. That's it. That's all there is to it. Once you construct your pendulum, you can mix the paint recipe over and over again to inspire the Picasso in you. Here are some fun designs we played with. We hope you have fun with this project and see you next time.